ज्ञानसंबंधम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ई वेलकम यू ऑल विथ मै लव एंड रिस्पेक्ट I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis sitting with us around the world at this moment. Four hundred and twelve places through Nityananda TV, and thirty-two places to via video conferencing, having Nayana Diksha. In two hundred and twenty-two cities in twenty-four countries around the world. <laughs> cities sitting with us. In two-way video conferencing, having Nayana Diksha, Ohio Prayag, Tiruvannamalai Arunachalam, Vancouver Puri, San Jose Madurai, Los Angeles Arunachalam, Sharjah, Seattle Chidambaram, Toronto Kailasam, Oklahoma Somanatham, Vancouver Puri, Hyderabad Bahiyanagaram, Phoenix Kanchipuram. Ohio Shivananda Kumbapuri Maha Kumbapuri Allahabad Prayag We have Prayag and Ohio Prayag Tiruvannam Arunachalam and Los Angeles Arunachalam and San Jose Madurai and Madurai also soon Alvarpet Chennai, Hyderabad Sri, Dubai Tirukkovilur, Oman Sivagangai, Laspet Pondicherry, London Kasi, Hong Kong. Hong Kong, I give the spiritual name, Hong Kong Sirgari. That is one of my favorite places, Jnana Sammandar's birthplace. Soon we will have temple in Hong Kong. Ma send the spelling. S I R K A L I or Z H I. Sirgari. Hmm. Kungku materialize. S E E R K A Z H I. Yes, right. Sirgari. Blessings. Where Nyana Samandar was born and brought up. Of course. In a very young age, he left Sirgari and started travelling. Hmm. Charlotte Sri Salem, Saint Louis Tirumala, Austin, Singapore, Singapore, Guadalupe, Prameshwaram, Saint Julian, France, New York, Varanasi, Dakota Dunes, Atlanta, Ujjaini, Bangalore, North, Paris, Home Temple, Ananda, France, Louisville, Kentucky. That's it. I bless you all with my love and blessings. I welcome all of you with my love and blessings. Today, Brahmanyam Bahubutratam. Second batch, fourth day successfully. I can really see people are becoming more and more integrated. Mm. One integrated, authentic disciple is equivalent to. I can say that one thousand followers and a hundred crore rupee, or anything more. You can add. So whenever the ashram or brahmachari opens up to do prayaschitta, 
I am so happy. Please understand. I am so happy. It, it's not that I don't know what fraud is. They are all now very clear. They want to realign. Restore integrity. Restore authenticity. There is every possibility. They would have been lost. They would have been lost. In that same inauthenticity, they could have been lost. And if they are lost, for that also I am only responsible. Now I am so happy. We have created the ambience where people are able to practice integrity and authenticity. See, earlier if they are not able to practice this authenticity and integrity, for that also I feel I am only responsible. The ambience also was not conducive. But authentic person has to stand whether ambience is conducive or not. That is their responsibility. And But for they not being responsible also I am responsible. We had this big discussion in taking responsibility. Now I can see one thing I am so happy these brahmacharis would have never dared to tell all this openly to me earlier. The one big success is they are able to open up and tell me and then they are ready for prayas chitta, any prayas chitta. I tell you, this is one of my biggest success. Now I know we will not perish. Because the ambience also should be made available such a way that Authenticity and integrity is constantly restored even if you fall. Listen, that is the... Uh, Sangha is a place where the tattvas are taught to you and till it becomes satya, you are supported. Please understand. It is not that Tattvas are dumped on you and no support is provided means no. Then tattva cannot become satya. Till the tattva becomes satya, Sangha is expected to support them. I feel now only we are doing that work. Only now we are doing that work. Supporting every individual to make the tattva into satya. It's not that we do not know all these principles of authenticity and integrity. Now only we are creating ambience for them to restore, even if they have fallen, and realign, evolve, evolve, evolve. I am really so happy that finally, successfully, we are evolving with the tattvas which helps every individual to restore their authenticity and integrity and evolve, evolve, evolve. Now I know no stone will be thrown out as a waste piece. Every stone will become diamond. No, a successful Sangha should be like that only. A successful Sangha should be such we go on supporting, supporting, supporting with the tremendous passions 
with that tattva of not giving up on ourselves and people and helping every individual to restore their authenticity what is prayaschitta prayaschitta is nothing but restoring your authenticity and integrity and taking responsibility not to fall again and if you have damaged somebody in your inauthenticity completing with them and restoring their authenticity also for example you abused the master with somebody they lost connection till you restore their authenticity and connection back you will not have prayaschitta mm oh ho so when somebody is ready for prayas chitta it is so nice i tell you for one brahmachari or one brahmacharini or one disciple to become authentic i can spend 100 crore it is worth worth of course i want to make it clear i don't have 100 crore and all this it department fellow should not think <laughs> i am sitting on so many 100 crore <laughs> i am saying it is worthy of even thousands of crore because just that one small shift one consciousness is going to become enlightened only one small shift one small decision the seed is going to decide whether to sprout or not that one small that one moment decision that makes whether it is going to become a banyan tree which is standing and blessing thousands of people or dead seed i am 100% sure along with this banyan tree seed there would have been few hundreds more seeds sown this seed decided to become authentic just that one small decision all great things happen just by one small decision nothing more whether you are going to achieve the true end of the life or wrong end of the life i was so happy i tell you i was so happy i just felt wow this one guy is going to save himself and become enlightened and there are some more fell fellows who are who done a very fraudulence and guru droha guru dusha all that they are all just sitting looking at them only i am laughing when are these fellows going to align or i feel when am i going to create a comfort zone for these fellows also to come out and restore their integrity and authenticity i am successful in one level for making few people restore their integrity and authenticity if i can be little more successful helping even some more few 
who are yet to reclaim, realign, restore their integrity and authenticity, it will be great. Sangha should be a mechanism where every individual is supported to restore their integrity and authenticity. Yesterday when we were discovering many Ashamid's root patterns, I was telling them, before I liberate you guys, you guys have to liberate me. Because each one projects their engrams on me, <laughs> root thought patterns on me. First, only when you liberate me, I can liberate you. I am so happy, really happy that Sangha is evolving. Sangha is not totality of human beings, understand? Sangha is the place where these tattvas are lived by many people and where constantly everyone supports the other to live these tattvas and radiate these tattvas. Only now I can see people are helping each other to restore integrity, restore authenticity. But still we have to evolve one step further. Restoring responsibility. For that we should support each other. And then enriching ourselves and others. For that we should support each other. Then a Sangha becomes an independent living mechanism. Till now the Sangha receives energy from my umbilical cord. It has not become a born child. Still I am only carrying it in my womb. I am just pregnant with the Sangha, not yet delivered. Magirija, Shivananda, Mahashyopriya, go for Bodhidharma Stirta. <laughs> Shivananda, I, sp I told actually Shyopriya, by mistake I told your name. You sit, sit, you did not sleep. <laughs> Instead of Shyopriya, I said Shivananda. Janatma, the glass you have, na? the cup, show me. It doesn't make uh, tea cool, na? it keeps hot, am I right? Sometimes. I think for all ashramites, you can give one, one cup like that. Hmm? They can just have it. Before the satsang itself, they can fill and bring it and keep. Hmm? See, the purpose is not to sleep. Any help available, which is a vegetarian, we can always have it. Tea is after all vegetarian and does not harm the body. Yeah, all the ashramites, I stopped protein for you guys because Shiva sent me a research which proves that protein which many of you guys are taking, even I was taking, can damage the brain in the long run. I thought after all that we don't have that problem because we don't have... <laughs> But in future, we may grow brain that, <laughs> that time there should not be any side effects. <laughs> That's the reason I stopped. We can go for some natural, like a rahi and that kind of hmm, things. When you decide not to give up on people and yourself, suddenly the new ambience is created 
and I commit with all you guys in front of the Sangha, keeping Kala Bhairava's witness, I am going to handle everybody only with these four tattvas, not giving up on people and taking responsibility. Prayaschitta also, they will have to decide. I am not going to decide. You will see, we will build a Sangha like that. It is possible. It is possible. I am so happy. My vision is becoming reality. It is flowering, flowering, flowering. We are able to help each other to restore their authenticity. Next, we should be able to support each other to take the responsibility. And then we should be able to support each other not to give up on ourselves and others. Then, I can say, I delivered the Sangha. Sangha has become an independent intelligence which can attract people, give them these tattvas, make them live these tattvas into satya, I can say then it will become nation building energy. It can really become the energy building Bharat. My vision by 2020 country should be called as Bharat. As you all know, already I committed and declared also with the 10,000 sannyasis going for Parivarajaka Yatra that one full year. 2020, full year from Kanyakumari to Kashmir by walk. 10,000 sannyasis. That is the vision, understand. Every place we were supposed to stay, we will have an ashram. Or we will create one. This is my declaration with integrity, authenticity and responsibility. And my commitment to enrich myself and others. We will do it. Only then it will become a nation building energy. The energy revives the Sanatana Dharma, the Vedic tradition. Tradition from which the Hinduism and Buddhism and Jainism, everything evolved. I want each one of you to become a space where not only you live the satyas of integrity, authenticity, responsibility and enriching, even the people who come in your space, you are able to make them live the tattvas and satyas. Only then, you become an authentic being. Taking responsibility again and again. I can see whenever I shift, I take the responsibility for his inauthenticity. Just like healing, his inauthenticity just gets destroyed. 
See, when somebody comes, that is what I do. I take responsibility for their karma. Then my body just destroys, my bio memory just destroys that karma. That's all. It's not that I gave them the disease. They only <laughs> brought the disease on themselves. But I take the responsibility for their inauthenticity with their body. Taking responsibility for their body is very easy because body just listens to the higher energy. But mind does not listen that easily. Now the real thing is taking responsibility for their mental inauthenticity also. That is the real fun. That is where the Sangha evolves. So when each one of you were established in the Satyas, each one of you are the moving Sangha, the moving temple, then nothing is required. Just go and sit anywhere. Around you the Sangha will happen. You will become the source for people, people's inspiration. And I also commit with you guys, I will never ever keep in my mind or heart any of this, their confessions or acceptance when they restore their integrity and authenticity and will not punish them indirectly or directly any time, now or later. I will only support them to restore their integrity and authenticity and if any prayas chitta has to be done, they have to decide, not me. They have to evolve. I will only give them the intelligence about prayas chitta. Prayas chitta is for what? For your bio memory not to go in the same inauthentic way and restore the damages you did for others or for Sangha then you plan you, you, with your own authenticity. You come up how you will do it and you restore. If you feel just by my commitment, I have restored, I have done prayas I don't need to do anything else, then perfect, go ahead. It is finally you, who is important, not anything else, as I said, one person to become authentic, I can waste even a hundred crore. Because even if few authentic beings are left to live in this world, I know for sure the torch which I lit, which I brought to the world will be kept alive forever. That's all. Everywhere the light of authenticity is what keeps you live and radiates light for others to live. Now I can see some more cities, London, Kashi, Priyankananda, Malaysia, 
and dhyanatma blessings to all you guys what for this whole places it's only for supporting people to live this tattvas into satyas helping people so now with this new tattvas you guys have to look and reorganize rearrange every rule we created for the sangha in each department you should reorganize now you can see tejo also rishi tejo also airport hong kong airport wow this is authenticity ma this is integrity wherever you are if there is a possibility don't miss it i tell you again bring more and more authenticity and responsibility in every one of our thinking feeling living it is so nice i can see now everybody in the sangha feels so secured that they will be handled only with this tattvas thanks to the people who give me input and execute my words they all have started picking up this tattvas they all have started picking up this tattvas even they talk only in the language of prayaschitta no punishment prayaschitta means restoring the completion of your chitta chitta means mind inner space restoring the completion in your inner space is prayaschitta i am seeing people have started listening listening when really the ashram overflows no place for people to stay only then i can understand that all of you have taken all the tattvas into satya 10000 sanyasis are living we don't have place we have to build more 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 then i can be sure see even in your body language you need to show to the people we are here only to give you the tattvas and make it into satya and we will give you a complete authentic honest loving support till it becomes satya in you i can see in personal practices people are becoming so authentic and integrated i wanted to talk only about this subject today because you guys don't know this how important half an hour early all of you are waking up without complaining and coming authentically to the sabha and doing it very sincerely see that one and a half hours if you have a long breathing simply the body will go to the high energy and simply the brahmacharya will happen brahmacharya is nothing but being always in a high energy that's all understand i am defining 
Brahmacharya is nothing but being authentic with your high energy. That's all. That's all. Only when you feel the low energy, you need the other person's presence in your life. Brahmacharya is nothing but being authentic with your high energy. And it simply happens. Just like that happens. How many of you guys authentically cognize, feel in your heart my vision about this 2020? So we will make 10,000 sannyasis and build our bodies also to do one year parivarachaka. We should be very sure that what we are living is the best. Only then we will have confidence to share it with others. This is best. Do it. Only then it will reverberate in his heart. Only then, it will become his satya. Helping every individual to find their root patterns of suffering and completing them Helping them to complete with themselves and others. Completion can happen in three ways. One, Swapurnatva, completing with you and completing with others. And catharsis. See, there are some patterns like a, you are in completion with a tree, river, fear of flood, ghost. This all leaves you only by catharsis. And then finally, unclutching, helping beings to flower. There is a beautiful description when Mahavira walks, all the desert will suddenly flower and bloom. It's a very beautiful description. That's the way it should be. When all 10,000 of us walk, that desert human minds should blossom and celebrate the bliss. Understand? It is we who should take the responsibility. even for the inauthenticity of the others. We cannot say, if he is not trans believing our principles, cut his head. No. Convert or kill. No. We should only take the responsibility, even for he not understanding or transforming, inauthentic. If somebody is inauthentic, we are responsible for it. Let's take it up. That's our life. After all, that is the way life expands. Everyone should know everything they are doing is nothing but enriching. A yeah, agriculturist should know he is enriching the humanity through his products. 
the money he gets is nothing but keeping the cycle alive for that if he knows that end of the life when he leaves the remaining thing he knows eh hey, i enriched whatever is remaining let the next generation take this and enrich continue to enrich enlightenment flowers in you sanyas flowers in you only when you take the responsibility for others in authenticity many people ask me i have a huge group of people who want enlightenment in the facebook itself facebook enlightenment please give me enlightenment now 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 when i type them please take the responsibility integrity and authenticity they say what it means i tell them see the satsangs no 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 i am too busy in the <laughs> they don't even want to know the tattvas they think enlightenment is like some package pill now actually it can come by certain pill but after that you have to live the tattvas the pill can only awaken the non mechanical parts of the brain and help you after that you have to live it it's not that the pill itself can maintain ah no on the subject of making the ambience for people to restore integrity and authenticity each one of our sangha member authentically with integrity look in have you took the responsibility of creating an ambience where people can practice authenticity and integrity instead of blaming people are not practicing i have decided i am not going to blame anymore i am going to only create ambience where they are able to practice so many of you are ready to transform with my transformation we will only create ambience where people can practice integrity and authenticity go on supporting them go on supporting them and it is possible we can do it we can do it even the top administration people when they come to me i ask them hey let us deal with this tattwa as per the tattwa what will be the solution now as per the satya how you will have to think i'm so happy in every decision making this is getting pumped this tattvas in every way so each one of you each one of you are literally sangha don't think sangha needs thousands of people it is one person vibrating in the highest frequency integrated frequency is sangha if you say i know in los angeles we have so many people but sangha has not happened so many people does not mean sangha only when so many people vibrate in high frequency sangha happens let's vibrate in high frequency of integrity authenticity drilling 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 many time failed does not mean we are failure we have failed many time by not able to create that kind of ambience 
due to so many reasons. Reasons are all useless. Reas you can't eat reasons. You can eat only vegetables. You can't eat the reason why the vegetable is not grown. An agriculturist, a farmer can come and shout in the shop, due to this, this, this reason I did not grow my vegetables today, please give me money. No, that's not going to give you food or you are not going to give money for him. Only vegetable can be eaten, not the very good valid reasons why vegetable has not grown. Same way. Only the Sangha. There may be hundred reasons, but now it is time. Each one of you constantly cognize this four tattvas and live this four tattvas satyas and if you open your mouth naturally this four satyas only should come out We should go on, go on, go on. Be living, living, living the tattvas. This tattva should make you live in your peak capacity and success. I tell you, when these tattvas become forms your inner space, there is no leakage of energy. Energy leakage does not happen. Any kundalini poured by me, awakened inside you, stays in the system without getting leaked. Otherwise, you just... and then goes away, that's all. Kundalini is not all about. We will name that as Jilchik Kundalini. <laughs> no, it is not all about Jilchik. It is about becoming more and more living the Satyas with more and more joy and making ambience for more and more people to live these satyas. Kundalini is all about how many people your energy is able to inspire to live these tattvas, not how much you jumped. Jumping will happen. End of the day, everyone who experiences Kundalini awakening, jumping will happen. Whether jumping happens when the zero Kundalini is, when one percent Kundalini is awakened or hundred percent is awakened, that varies. But every individual should become the Sangha. By constantly living these four principles, integrity, authenticity, responsibility and enriching, enriching yourself 
and others. Even when you become aware of the root thought pattern, so many sufferings are avoided because when the root, root is trying to repeat again, what you do? You catch it. How many of you feel the moment I found out my root thought pattern, so much of suffering is avoided? Because the moment it comes back, I am catching it. It is losing the power. Then understand, it is not big thing, it is such a simple help. How many thousands are suffering without this simple help? How many of you feel really cognize authentically, you really wanted to help people to find this root thought pattern suffering? That's all is our Sangha, nothing else. What else is our Sangha? We will organize big, big classes, programs, even while you are going in the train, when you sit with somebody, casually he will ask you, oh, you are a Swami? You are wearing that dollar? That is enough. Now, come on, initiate him into the tattva. If he comes in your breathing space, give him the gift of finding his root thought patterns. Only then you are moving storehouse of ananda. <coughs> moving storehouse of ananda. Wherever you go, you go on giving, 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 giving. Ramakrishna used to say, Bhairavi Brahmani was like that. Bhairavi Brahmani is a Sweet, very sweet and very motherly teacher of Sri Ramakrishna. I don't want to use the word master because he is an incarnation. But he always respected her as a master who guided him and supported him to realize the great tantra, it was beautiful. This time Devi taught tantra to Shiva. <laughs> Brahmani came and taught tantra to Ramakrishna. <laughs> Bhairavi came and taught to Ramakrishna, Bhairava. Usually tantra is always taught by Bhairava to Bhairavi. This time Bhairavi to Bhairava. So beautiful. Ramakrishna used to tell, she is such an embodiment of joy, wherever she goes, she will just make people flower. After all, now we have, I have already created hundreds of temples and ashrams. Go around, help people to find their root thought pattern of suffering. How many of you feel you wasted years just not finding this root thought pattern? If you would have found this root pattern, you would have been out of suffering for years. Like this only people are suffering, na? This is what is our responsibility. Creating an ambience where people find their root thought pattern of sufferings and do completion, and get out of it. Come out of it. Flower, flower, flower. Go on flowering. That is a real service. Giving food, giving education, this is all service, no doubt. But authentic service is this. 
helping every individual to find root thought pattern of suffering root thought pattern of suffering and getting out helping them more and more as i told you maximum you will have only less than 10 patterns maximum i am saying usually you all can for your weight you see when i see your subtle body i can, i know the weight for all your weight not more than 5 not some i can say 6 7 that's all not more than that even if you find one not all five suddenly loses their stiffness they don't disappear completely see the one not which you found completely loses power over you the other not also 30 40% they lose power over you because each not is keeping the other not tight tensed they are interdependent it's not that when you break the last knot the fear knot will have the same strength over you no the fear knot 30% will drop the jealousy knot 40% will drop the attention need not 80% will drop like that they are all interdependent so by the time you relax three four knots you are free by the time you complete with the three four knots you are free taking responsibility only now i feel our community is becoming a spiritual community every place the leader of the sangha in each place the leader of the sangha should be talking in this language only the language of spiritual strength cognizance language of cognizance spiritual strength taking responsibility taking responsibility taking responsibility without taking responsibility even your breathing can kill you if you take the responsibility nothing can kill you you are just going to stretch yourself beyond death it is inauthenticity which is afraid of death never authenticity making millions of people feel experience i am the favorite inheritor of the cosmos is our sangha is our mission samima t she always called me only as swami from the beginning i never heard her calling me by name or anything <laughs> from the beginning she called me only as swami so i am calling her swami amma 
ഭക്തിമയ ശ്രീ ഭക്തിമയ നൈറ്റ് യു ഷുഡ് ഹാവ് ദറ്റ് ഉയാല സോങ് വട്ട് യു കാൾ സ്വിങ് സോങ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഇൻ സാൻസ്ക്രിറ്റ് ലല്ലാബി സോങ് സാൻസ്ക്രിറ്റ് നയൻ തേർട്ടി ദ ലല്ലാബി സോങ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഓൺ ദർസ് വട്ട് നയൻ തേർട്ടി ടു ടെൻ ദ ലല്ലാബി സോങ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ടു ഫോർ തേർട്ടി സുപ്രഭാതം ബോത്ത് ഷുഡ് ബി ഇൻ സാൻസ്ക്രിറ്റ് other than me using some tamil songs for this samya mandal because jnana sambandhar blesses people to achieve niraharatva in that song that is why i am using other than that all the major everywhere it should be sanskrit based understand sangha's language is the internal of the spiritual process for all that sanskrit external is english let that be standardized and ma bhakti mia you should also translate wide deep meaning hmm? that same after the sanskrit words english chanting apply these four tattvas it can solve every problem you have and can make you live in your peak in your best the rituals we do should be authentic the deities we create should be authentic and the yoga we teach should be authentic kriyas we teach should be authentic the claims we make should be authentic delivering the claims we make should be authentic enriching people in every way should be authentic each city even if few people vibrate in this high frequency sangha happens just like that continuously thinking in this language thinking in this format thinking with this satyas create the ambience inside you to for you to practice intensity and authentic authentic integrity and authenticity and create an ambience around you for people to live integrity and authenticity when people are not integrated with you authentic with you you should have the ambience when they come and share and want to restore their integrity they should know you will only take the responsibility and support them to become authentic you will not punish them you should prove through your actions this is the way you are even going to think taking responsibility for their inauthenticity you are not even going to think in any other angle I bless you all who are sitting with us around the world at this moment. 677 places through Nityananda TV. 32 places to be video conferencing having Nayana Diksha. In 315 cities in 30 countries around the world. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate, share, explode and enrich with eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you.